why didn't they respond the way I wanted to? Why didn't they care? Why didn't they show empathy? Just looking at it as they didn't do this. They did respond this way. What am I gonna do about it? Have you ever been with a group of friends or even just a one-on-one -on -one with anybody <laughs> and they ask you a question that is personal, right? It's a vulnerable question and instinctually you're kind of like, hesitant maybe you don't want to talk about it or you don't want to talk about it at this moment with that person it's just kind of reliving something it's just a very sensitive thing or maybe it's just your personal private business and um you answer the question and they kind of change the subject <laughs> or they don't engage with it or they just kind of move on in some sense of the word because um, this has happened to me quite a few times in a lot of different relationships, and it never feels good, right? It never feels good, and um, I played around with the thought of it, and I really do believe it's it's n not wrong to have expectations that when somebody is asking you a question, whether they perceive it to be vulnerable or not, when they're asking you a personal question, um, it's okay to have the expectation that they are at the very least going to um, engage in some positive way with you <laughs> for sharing, right? Like you are asking me to share personal information. If I share it, I'm assuming that this is going to be an engaging exchange, a positive exchange. There's going to be some sort of exchange of conversation going on. And when you don't get that, um, it can hurt. And um, I, I used to try to sit and like, why? Like, how can I overcome this? I don't want to feel hurt, right? I, I thought maybe, maybe I'm taking it too personally, but I'm like, I really am not. <laughs> it's truly just, um, there's so many factors that go into it, right? For whatever reason, whatever you deem to be personal or vulnerable for you, when you trust somebody to share that after they've showed interest in it, and then that interest disappears immediately, right? Like, you gave them the key to unlock a door and then they slammed it shut and you're like, hmm. <laughs> um, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And I think those feelings are completely valid. And I don't even necessarily think that we should demonize the people who do this on the other side, right? The people who do change the subject or don't know what to say and kind of just move on or don't interact or engage in that way. Um, I think the important part is for you whenever your feelings are hurt for anything like that or maybe in different situations just making sure you are loving yourself to take up space right um working up the nerve the self-courage and the strength to be able to pause and say hey that hurt you know earlier when you asked me a, a vulnerable question or you asked me a personal question and I answered and you immediately changed the subject or you didn't engage with it, it, it hurt my feelings um, and it made me want to share less, right? It made me want to, you know, retreat. It made me want to kind of seclude myself. Whatever it made you feel, just being able to say that, right? And some people might think, oh, but that's, you know, like if they didn't care the first time when I was being vulnerable, why would I just be vulnerable again? And it's like, you have to trust yourself, right? You're a smart person. You know you. And if you trusted this person to be vulnerable in that instant, following through with a, the way you responded made me feel this way. And then seeing what's being brought, right? If this is genuinely a person that you can trust, a person you can love, this is somebody that's a good friend of yours or a partner or a family member that you can trust, they should handle that with care, right? That should be a good conversation you know and navigating life saying that you are not going to take up space and communicate your feelings your thoughts your needs your wants your desires because some people may let you down that's only you preemptively letting yourself down right that's you setting things up for failure on your end um and Nothing's going to be a one-size-fits-all, but my suggestion is always um, giving that opportunity of 
really open communication and then trusting that person to respond accordingly. If they do not, that's where it says a lot about that person, right? If you ever open up to somebody like that hurt my feelings or, um, you know, made me feel this negative emotion or whatever the case. And, um, their response was like, it's a you problem and it's not their problem or I don't care kind of situation or you end up feeling more shamed than you did to begin with. Um, you know, that's, that's why you hear all those quotes of like, when people show you who they are, believe them, you know, like that says a lot about deep rooted character. Um, and you know, it doesn't necessarily mean anything, right? Like I'm not saying to cut this person off or this person is horrible or whatever the case, but that is something that you have to, instead of finding the why's like, why didn't they respond the way I wanted to? Why didn't they care? Why didn't they show empathy? Just looking at it as they didn't do this. They did respond this way. What am I going to do about it? You know, is this something I can accept? Is this the person I want to be close with? Um, Should I distance myself? Do I kind of have to change our relationship a bit for my own mental health? Um, So, yeah, that's a little tangent on that end. But all of this to say, like, please don't be scared to express yourself to take up space and um just know that every time you do do that like that is a big part of self-love that is a huge part of just growth and um showing how far you've come you know if that's ever been a struggle for you because that's been a struggle for me and I think um the fact that I have been able to mention this to people when they do this to me because this is something that has happened a lot in the past and I just kind of ate it right? And you let that hurt just stay inside and that can build to resentment and that, and then you have to take accountability for letting that build to that point without communicating it. Whereas now when people do that, I, I'll be very upfront, you know, like it makes me not want to share with you because it doesn't seem like you're engaging with me, right? Like I feel like I'm pouring into a bucket that has a hole on the bottom, right? Like when I when I engage in really personal, very intimate, vulnerable conversations with people, I expect there to be mutual engagement. I expect there to be like a bouncing of ideas and I, I'm giving and you're giving. We're both taking from one another. So um, when I engage with people who don't reciprocate that energy or that desire to speak and engage, I want to engage less. And I... I communicate by letting people know that, right? And I give them the opportunity. And if they are who they are, that's okay. And we can still be friends. We just will not engage in the way that you were trying to engage with me because I have set a boundary. And it doesn't feel good when people don't engage with me. <laughs> so, so yeah. Um, I hope that makes sense. I don't know if anybody has gone through anything similar. Uh, I just feel like I've gone through it so many different times with so many good people, like genuinely, they're like good people. Um, And I don't think a lot of people mean any harm doing this. But yeah, just a little advice that maybe can be helpful in those situations to just take up space, you know, let people know what's going on, what's going on in your mind and your heart. And yeah. All right. (laughs) Okay, bye.